This right over here for over a decade has been the physical object that's directly helped me earn more money than anything else that I own. Discovery notes when I'm doing sales meetings, rapid process design when I'm working out challenges with clients, goal setting and tracking, and the list goes on. In other words, when I look at my notebook, I just see dollar signs spilling out. And there's a reason I use it literally more than I use my phone. I of course recognize that any notebook, even a dollar store one, would be just as effective as a money earning tool for me. But for a decade, I have chosen Traveler's Company notebooks for three specific reasons, which I'm obviously going to share in a few seconds. But first, after finally being able to visit Japan after not going for three years, one of my first stops was of course the Traveler's Company flagship store, which is, without exaggeration, my favorite physical brick and mortar shop on earth. Just steps from Nakameguro Station, tucked in a quaint residential neighborhood, is where the shop sits. Entering, there's a real homey and rustic feel with exposed brick and bean. One of my favorite things are the beautifully aged examples of open pages documenting journeys with notes and sketches of trips around the world. After all, the word traveler is in the name of the business. The longest wall houses all of their leather notebook shells and their endless notebook insert types, offering infinite customization for everyone's own unique use cases, while the central tables offer up their own accessories and other stationary brands and items, including those from one of my fave workshops in Japan, The Superior Labor, who makes this dual pen clip that's always attached to my own regular size notebook cover, where I keep my two Lamy Safaris. Other awesome stuff include everyday carry essentials made of leather or brass, like key rings, and of course, how can I forget, their famous pewter notebook charms, as well as their own line of compact brass pens, pencils, clips, and page markers scatter around the small shop. There's collaborations with their co-branded drops, including this one with Victorinox that I got pretty psyched about, along with tons more stuff like their coffee lovers section, travel accessory zone, postcards, washi tape, stickers, totes, and luggage tags, not the least of which are the vintage-feeling travel vibes with their ongoing staple collab pieces with one of my favorite logos and brand identities of all time, Pan Am Air, which, despite ceasing operations in 1991, was a true pioneer in commercial aviation. But anyways, I think you can gather a ton about someone based on the physical spaces they enjoy being in. And this shop is, again, one of my favorite physical spaces in the world. The spreads throughout are so nostalgic and, although cluttered, somehow neat and peaceful to me. To round things out is the narrow staircase, flanked by photo frames that lead up to a tiny event loft space with shadow boxes of previous limited drops and a tiny workshop room. So after three years of essentially what can be best described as withdrawals from this place, I definitely bought a non-insignificant amount of stuff, which I'm about to share. But before that, I promise to share the three reasons why I have chosen Traveler's Notebooks to accompany me everywhere, every single day for a decade. One, there's no usage anxiety. Despite using tremendously high quality paper, the notebook refills themselves are quite thin, just 32 to 64 pages. When I was a kid, I had this weird OCD where I'd get a new notebook, and if I misspelled a word on the first page, I would feel like the entire notebook was ruined. Weird, I know. But the beauty of Travel's refills is that they cured this weird OCD that lasted into adulthood. The very short bursts and impermanence really enabled me to let loose and just get shit done properly. And for my work, just perfect for individual projects where I'll often start a brand new notebook insert dedicated to everything involving a single client deliverable. Reason two, like I alluded earlier, they are infinitely customizable. Beyond every conceivable notebook insert type from weekly planners to blank sketching pages to dot grids to terrible letter sheets, they also have organizing inserts, sticky note caddies, and as a longtime user, a pro tip I highly recommend is to pick up a zipper pouch. Not just for its storage capabilities, but more importantly, as a buffer for more comfortable usage of the back few pages of any notebook insert, so that this knot against the back of the closure elastic doesn't make writing bumpy at the end. Reason three, aesthetically as a forever item that patinas so well over time, it always ends up being a great conversation piece as I break it out before work meetings, and is something I feel more and more fulfillment using as it ages. So what did I end up buying at both of their stores I visited in Japan? First up, I had caught wind about a year ago that they were going to be adding an olive green leather shell to the collection. And if you've been with me for a bit, you know I love green and earth tones in my EDC in general. I've been thinking for a while now to have a completely separate notebook specifically for me and Eric to use exclusively for our brainstorming and iterative sketches as we work on design and manufacturing projects for clients. To reflect the spirit of the metal workshop, I of course picked up their nut and bolt pewter charms, and like I alluded to earlier, always get a zipper case insert, and was pleasantly surprised to learn that they had a leather one that I didn't even know existed. Got a little bit trigger happy and decided to pick up a passport sized leather zipper case insert as well, to upgrade my chocolate brown passport size setup too. So just real quick with the unboxing and setup, this is what would be used exclusively at the workshop now for me and Eric's brainstorming. Ah wait. 
gotta replace the blank notebook insert it comes with and replace it with insert 026, the dot grid insert for easier sketching. As a Swiss army knife lover, ever since my dad first showed me his when I was like three or four years old, like you saw in the store footage earlier, I was happily surprised to see these collaborations Travelers did with the super small Victorinox classic colors. One in translucent fire opal orange and one in sunny side yellow. And despite seeing it in store, I had completely forgotten and was shook when I unboxed it and saw that it was red until I turned it around and saw the collab graphic background. I love this thing since unlike the typical beige toothpick pull block and the gray tweezer one, both are in this matching red on this guy. Super tiny compact tool set of scissors, tiny blade and a file slash flathead screwdriver round out the little keyring piece. Traveler's Company also makes these embossed leather sheaths and they only had one left so I was lucky enough to snag it. And then I saw these baby Higonokamis. But Higonokamis, with so much history since the 1890s, really are a fantastic budget-friendly option for a slip joint with their OG brass pieces starting at like just $15 or so, even on Amazon. Just a very classic piece. And like the Victorinox collabs, this one also had a leather sheath available. But in the store, I suddenly realized that I'm an actual idiot since, despite being tiny, all three of these are still blades. And since I only do one bag travel, there's no way they'd make it on a flight. So shout out to the shopkeepers for providing me a small cardboard box, which I packed, taped up, and shipped home to Canada before I left Japan. But moving on with the shopping haul, I have a strange addiction to wooden and metal boxes, especially vintage ones with old school typography. So I picked up this little toolbox as well. Just has such a vintage vibe and I love how the spacing of the design features, the font choice, and the less seen landscape oriented hinge just offers so much uniqueness. But the Nakameguro flagship and their satellite shop at Narita International Airport, which by the way, after a quick chat, I learned is also a favorite stop amongst many actual pilots who fly by as well, feature a stamping zone. And I decide to buy and fill a blank notebook insert at each location to be a part of a subscriber giveaway right here on the channel. Here I am stamping away at the flagship, and here I am stamping away at the shop at Narita, which feature a ton of country stamps. So what is in the giveaway? Before I tell you, please don't fall for scammers using my profile pic pretending to be me replying to people in the comments. I will never ask you for a penny or your phone number or anything sketchy like that. Not to mention this giveaway will not be using comments as a way to enter anyways. The giveaway will include both the flagship and Narita stamp inserts, as well as this insert that's only available at their airport location. To round things out, this pack of five luggage stickers will be included. And lastly, that awesome fire opal orange limited release Victorinox collab with Traveler's Company will top off the package. If handwritten notes isn't in your wheelhouse, the last thing I want is for you to click the link in the description and spend a bunch of money only to realize after a day or two that using notebooks isn't for you. That said, if you want to experiment, I recommend just buying a notebook insert first. And to help kickstart your notebook experimentation, you will definitely want to watch this video right up here. If you're already a notebook user, but want an in-depth dive into everything you need to know about customizing Traveler's Notebooks, this video down here is the one for you. Finally, to see how to enter the giveaway and the entry deadline, click the giveaway guidelines link found down in the description below. Consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell so you'll be notified the moment new videos just like this one drop.